Hiker J here. This week I'm reviewing a backpack by 3V Gear. This is the Transit. Now this is their Redline series. It's a really sweet series of backpacks. This is a 40 liter, a size that I love to have for like everyday carry. And this is an everyday carry type of backpack that's sort of like made for the modern person. Somebody could carry it on a bus or to school, but it has some really good features in it where you could stash some things. And I'm pretty excited to share this with you. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks. So I'm gonna walk you completely through it all. Full disclosure, 3V Gear did send me this pack to check out and test out. So I've been testing it out for the last couple of weeks to share with you. And also, if this is the first time on my channel, if you could hit subscribe, that would be awesome. I'm always doing reviews for outdoor gear and such and would love to have you along for the ride. Let's walk around the actual backpack and then I'll go through all the pouches as we move in and show you what I already have in this one and how I think this could be a great backpack for everyday carry or um, even like a get out bug out type bag as well too. So they start with the water bottle holder. So of course, water bottle holder on the side has this nice neoprene on the bottom, um, which is great because that won't store water and then mesh on the top. And then you can tighten it up here. On the opposite side, it doesn't have a water bottle holder. It actually has a pocket, which I really like. I like the idea of being able to put something in a secure pocket on the side. I love having a water bottle handle handy. You can just get it out. But on the other side, a lot of times backpacks just put another water bottle holder, but I like having an actual compartment because over here I put my glasses. So my sunglasses and things um, in here, you can see that it's got different spots for passport, paperwork, whatever it might be, a zip pocket in here. That's the thing. You'll have endless places to put things. It's not just a backpack. That's like a big open tube and throw everything into it. It's very compartment which I love. By the way, to check out this Topo inside. Nice white on the inside so you can see what you're getting to, but man, that's a nice touch. That is really, really cool. So I keep my glasses in this one so I can get to them real quick, basically sunglasses, and you can cinch it all up too. These are really cool. They come off and then they go back on too for easy use as well. Now let's go to the front here. We've got a little daisy chain going down the side here. I've got my hero clip hooked to it. Um, I like having this simple little daisy chain. It's not really thick, but it's easy to connect something to it um, and have it hang there. And then of course the laser cutout um, Molly that's there too. So let's open up this front compartment. It just folds back. And this is a very much your compartment where you could keep paperwork, pens, pencils, that type of stuff, stuff things in there. You could certainly put granola bars. This for me is like where I put my gloves so I can get to them easily, um, but pretty great, easy accessible compartment. Now going to the top, they've got this classic pouch up here for what you call the sunglass pouch. Um, I prefer to put things in here that I'm gonna need right away, like a flashlight, granola bar, um, little med kit, that type of thing, um, but really nice pouch on the top. Now let's move to the back. Starting from the top, of course, you got the grab handle, the carry handle has this nice neoprene around it. So it's pretty soft, um, does have the go through for a bladder hose that can come out here. So a hydration system um, and it can just hook through one of the D rings down here. This is what's kind of nice about this pack. It is a 40 liter, so you can get a lot of weight in this and you really want your your shoulders to be able to be adjusted. So it does have this shoulder strap here where if you're a shorter person, you can really cinch it down. If you're a taller person like me, you're going to leave it all the way out. But I just like the feature that they have a way to like cinch it to your body. Um, that's really smartly built. Um, and then the shoulder straps, really comfortable. You can tell that like they're super thick. Um, they have like a soft first material and then like a harder foam material on the inside. That's pretty nice. And of course, all this breathable nylon right here, same as the back pads here. The back pads, you can see that it does have the run through for your spine down the middle, which is always super comfortable. And the last thing on the straps is that it does have a sternum strap going across there. Well, of course it's an EDC, so it's got the whistle on it there too, but you can take these off. I really like how customizable this is. You can take this off, put it on. You've got a bunch of different pieces that you can even take off the actual waist belt if you don't want it on there as well too. So very customizable. The waist belt is just a two inch webbing. Um, you can tighten it from the back or from the front. It does have these, which I really like these bungees um, that can kind of grab and you can put out so it's not flapping all the way around uh, when you're hiking. Um, I think that a lot more packs and things should have those on there. Uh, so like I said, they, they really paid attention to a lot of the detail on here. Now the last piece for the back is this hidden compartment. You know, certainly you could put your passport on in here because when it's on your back, 
you have to get this pack off your back to get in here, but it's large enough for a handgun as well too. So I really like that, that you could stash something back here um, that's not gonna be able to be like unzipped and grabbed from the front. Um, you've got a place to hide it there. So that is really awesome. The last piece on the outside I'll show you is that it does have a drain hole. Um, so if you ever did get soaked or fell in the water, or whatever, it does have a drain hole to drain it out. Um, but this is not waterproof in any way, shape or form, but they put that piece in there just so that it would drain out, which is pretty awesome. All right, so that kind of wraps up the outside. So now let's go into the inside. One thing I really like about this 40 liter Transit is that it can be top loading or completely clamshell. And that's pretty sweet. So you can certainly just open the top and have kind of a, a shove type of backpack where you shove things in or grab a laptop, whatever it might be. But if you also need to, you can completely open it up and clamshell it out and have it wide open and be able to get to everything inside. And where this truly shines is they've made this top lid, they put all these compartments on here. So you know how it is, if you have a backpack where you just shove everything in and you can't quite find it or can't get to it, I love packs like this that have that option to be able to store things. So I've got all my fire starting kit right in here um, in this top one and also med kit. And then I've got my survival in here. So I've got a uh, survival shelter, uh, water purifier, things like that on there. Now those can just stay there and I don't have to take them out. They just don't bounce around. They're always there and ready to go if I need them. I love that about this clamshell lid. Going to the inside now, I have got just a rain jacket. Let me take this stuff out. Rain jacket and polar fleece in there right now. Um, I have my snack bag that I hooked up on the top here. Um, this is actually for your water bladder, but I just hang this that way. I can just reach and pull and get it um, from my snack bag there. I got kids, so when we're hiking, we always gotta have snacks, right? Uh, so working our way in, uh, laptop holder. It holds up to a 15 inch laptop in here, or it'll obviously hold like a, three liter water bladder as well too there. And then you've got another compartment in here, which could be more like papers, files, that type of stuff. If you're using it for an everyday carry type of thing. And then another zipper pocket right on there where you can put things. I haven't really figured out what to put in there yet. I thought about doing my gloves, but I kind of like have my gloves on the front because when we're working out in the property, I just kind of want to just be able to put the pack down, grab my gloves and, and go to town. But you can see this zips all the way down to where this thing completely clamshells flat, which is kind of cool. Here's another thought. So say you are in a survival situation, you can actually unzip this completely and then put this on the ground and now you have an insulation point between you and the ground to actually stay warmer, grab my shelter, put it on top of me because you know in a survival situation, if you're laying on the ground and it gets cold, that ground's just gonna suck all that heat out of you. So kind of an idea that I had about it when I opened it up the first time and I think it's kind of a cool option that you can actually open it up completely and use it as a bed roll, bed mat or an insulation from the ground. So the last thing I wanted to show you was how a mall pouch works on here. So the Molly is pretty great. It works pretty well. This is just a dump pouch for like spent brass at the range. Um, but you can see holds on really well. Doesn't tear, doesn't break away. Um, this is really thin. I don't think it would handle a massive amount of weight, but no problem for your regular old smaller pouches and you put them on there should work really well. You can see this one stays on pretty well. Blends in really great being that it's black. Um, makes it look a little bit more military-ish, but not too bad. So let me know what you think about the 3V Gear Transit, you know, the everyday carry uh, tactical backpack that they have here, the 40 liter. Certainly check out the other Redline series. Really cool. They have some that are just almost just totally just material and real simple all the way to sort of a little bit more tactical and shoulder buns and all that type of stuff. So definitely check them out. Worth a look. I'm really happy with this pack. It's become my go-to for the summer. I've even used it for just putting clothes in it when I'm going somewhere overnight as well too. So let me know, put in the comments what you think. If you've ever checked out 3V gear, it's worth a look. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy.